Thanks for joining us. This is Amiko and you're watching our daily updates live from Bahadar, Ethiopia. I am Garila Damu to stay with us. Gorgora Eco Resort, built in Amhara region of Ethiopia, inaugurated in the presence of Prime Minister Abiy Yahmed. Abiy stated two modern ships aim at facilitating the lake transport has already arrived to Djibouti port. Brahan Warkana has the details. ሪስቶችን በመሳብ በማስተናገድ ተጠቃሚ እንድትሆኑ ልጆቻችን ተጠቃሚ ተደርጉ ኢትዮጵያ is undergoing massive tourism development cycles since prime minister abiy ahmed came to power dine for nation initiative initiated by the prime minister is enhancing tourism destinations in ethiopia nowadays dine for nation initiatives are becoming a reality show in ethiopia one of the grand eco tourism development site which has been constructed in Gorgora Amhara regional state officially inaugurated by the Prime Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia Dr Abiy Ahmed on the occasion Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed said the construction of this grand ecotourism site shows the interest and in its vision of the government to its generation lezbachin yallen helm yallen filagot gorgora project reveals the vision and interest of our party to the generation and its people As you know, history also tells our people without any kind of biasity and distortion. The Premier further stated the government has bought two huge ships which carries over 118 people and reached at Djibouti port. Ethiopia Logistics and Shipping Organization has bought two huge ships which can carry over 180 people at once. The ships have already reached at Djibouti port and it will reach soon Gorgora therefore the ships will facilitate the transport between Gorgora and Bahardar city similarly the ships create job opportunity for the people and it will make the transport accessible to tourists outar hono yagalegalal on the inaugural ceremony abi said Bahardar is a beautiful city and the government is constructing modern terminal next to Bol international airport in Ethiopia Bahardar sifatrat wobnat Bahardar is a nature gifted city it is expected to show the beauty of the city to its domestic and international tourists as a result the government of Ethiopia is constructing grand and modern terminal next to Boli International Airport in Ethiopia zamanai terminal Bahardar lay iyegenaba yigenyal Deputy Prime Minister Temes Gant Runa said the Gorgora Eco Resort built in Amhara region of Ethiopia is a timeless national treasure with great potential for the tourism sector. The Gorgora Eco Resort developed under the Dine for Nation initiative was inaugurated on Saturday in the presence of Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed and other high-ranking government officials and other invited guests. The Deputy Prime Minister highlighted the potential of Ethiopia's unique tourism attractions that have never been adequately tapped due to lack of infrastructures. Tamaskan pointed out the ongoing extensive efforts to address the limitations and foster the development of the sector. Tamaskan emphasized the government's ongoing endeavors and achievements so far made to advance the tourism sector spearheaded by the initiative of Prime Minister Abiy through the mobilization of the public. Several tourism projects have now been under completion the deputy prime minister said citing the newly inaugurated Gorgora eco resort which had been isolated from development for centuries however this destination situated inside a mesmerizing natural setting has now been built in a manner that is very much convenient for the tourists The small lake shore town of Gorgora with its magnificent scenery is situated southwest of the historical city of Gondar in Amhara region. 
Gorgora project, which is part of the Dime for Ethiopia project, inaugurated in the weekend. Motom Luye tells us more. Welcome to Gorgora. Gorgora is located in northwest Ethiopia in the Amhara regional state along the northern shore of Lake Tana. It's a beautiful town encircled by Ethiopia's largest lake, endowed with breathtaking sceneries with magnificent natural and man-made tourist sites. The ancient fishery activity along the shore of the lake is a true wonder for tourists. It renders with a calm and relaxing atmosphere. The welcoming and hospitable nature of the people in and around Gorgora, together with their vibrant culture and tradition, is also a real attraction. Built as part of Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's Dine for the Nation initiative, Gorgora Eco Resort lies within 40 hectares of land. Densely forested areas, eye-catching buildings and other creative architectural outputs are found inside the resort. This eco resort is built with the target of growing the nation's tourism industry and creating job opportunities for the local people. Tourists could get to the resort by means of land, water and air transport alternatives. You could travel by car from Gondor Azozo to Gorgora Eco Resort. You could also access it from Bahadar by boat across the vast Lake Tana. There are also two helicopter landing spots for those who choose flight to Gorgora Eco Resort. Inside the well-secured and protected Eco Resort are found amphitheater, swimming pools for both adults and children, playing ground for children, fruit and vegetable sites, tennis ground, plant seedling nurseries, shops and restaurants, and sleeping tents. The floating port is also one of the wonderful parts of the resort. Among the stunning buildings inside the resort are the two presidential luxury villas, with full security and other important services. There are also buildings of other functions, installed with state-of-the-art technology and all-round services. The buildings are set up at a strategic location where tourists can have the full view of the vastly lying Lake Tana. The villas have been built in resemblance of the ancient and historical Gondorian buildings, which themselves are in likeness with that of medieval Europe. For a unique mental and physical relief after exhausting working days, or hosting international conferences of any type, or for a wonderful tour of any purpose, Gorgora Eco Resort is a must-visit destination where you will miss nothing. The huge Tana Hall can comfortably accommodate more than 500 people. The hall is fitted with modern audio-video controlling technologies. It can be a perfect place for hosting international conferences of all type. You will also be provided with jacuzzi, sauna baths, hammam and other modern and traditional beauty care services. Inside the eye-catching and carefully handled garden lies a swimming pool with a full view of Lake Tana in front of it. The pool will offer you with a sense of swimming in the vast Lake Tana itself. You will also enjoy yourself walking along the artificial beach made the geographical landscape of Gorgora Eco Resort is conducively home to 17 white fish species that are found in Lake Tana only. The resort is built in harmony with the local people in protecting the environment and preserving the existing natural and man-made tourist sites within the resort. Welcome to Gorgora Eco Resort for a missing mental and physical rehabilitation. UN officials underscored the Gorgora Eco Resort developed under the Dine for Nation initiative in Amhara region of Ethiopia will play instrumental role to promote culture, nature and tourism. Ivan Delnesa has the details. United Nations resident and humanitarian coordinator Ramiz al Kabaro described the project as a state of the facility that has everything to engage in ecotourism. al Kabaro said the way the project has been designed is fully integrated with the landscape doesn't destroy the harmony of the forest. He said the resort has a very important role to promote culture and tourism, noting its contribution to create employment to the community around the project with economic benefits that is vital to accelerate development. 
Director for Gender Equality and Women Empowerment Division at United Nations Industrial Development Organization, Aurelia Patricia, for her part, expressed amendment by the location and the way the place has been realized. Transmitting Ethiopian values. Patricia said, Gorgora is a jewel on a very ancient and famous lake, that is Lake of Tana. This is the historical heart, the historical path, and so Gorgora is reflecting the history of this beautiful country. Patricia further commended the project for involving the community, particularly women around the area, by creating jobs. Patricia stressed the importance of mainstreaming such approaches into the gender development projects. The United Nations resident and human Humanitarian coordinator also commended the efforts underway by the government of Ethiopia to address the impacts of climate change through its Green Legacy Initiative. When we move to other stories, Ethiopia's National Dialogue Commission revealed it has finalized the necessary preparations to carry out agenda selection process soon in regional states, including Dredoa City Administration. Brown Wisma has more on it. Ethiopia has established a national dialogue commission with the objective of resolving conflicts, wars and disagreements caused by political crises that pose threat to the statehood of a country. Such dialogues serve as a means of building trust between the government and the electorate, aiming at building a democratic social system in a country by creating national reconciliation and consensus on major national issues that have remained unresolved. Recently, the Ethiopian National Dialogue Commission held agenda selection process in Addis Ababa at Adwa Memorial Hall in a more participatory and inclusive manner. The National Dialogue Commission Commissioner Mulgita Ago said, the agenda selection process that was conducted in Addis Ababa at Adwa Memorial Hall was a success. Mulgita said, the participants on the agenda selection forwarded their views and issues for discussion in a free, participatory, transparent and inclusive manner. The commissioner added the agenda selection process was a learning forum in which inputs were forwarded from the participants in a participatory, free, inclusive and democratic discussion. The commissioner added the agenda selection process was a learning forum in which inputs were forwarded from the participants in a participatory, free, inclusive and democratic discussion. Mulgita said accordingly, the agenda selection process will soon proceed in Ridawa and other regional states except for Amara and Tigray. According to Mulgita, as of next week, preparations will be made by coordinators, responsible officials and other professionals to facilitate the upcoming agenda selection process in the areas mentioned above. The Commissioner called upon all citizens to contribute their part to the success of the agenda selection process, which is a major step in conducting a national dialogue across the country and use this opportunity for building a democratic national state. Mulgita thanked all those involved in the startup process and advised the public to effectively realize the advantages of conducting a national dialogue in Ethiopia. <laughs> 